Hey everyone, thanks for watching. DV Tutorials here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to acclimate your bubble tip anemone to your saltwater aquarium. Bubble tip anemones are very delicate creatures and need to be acclimated very carefully in order for the best success. The most important thing for acclimating the bubble tip anemone properly is patience. You want to make sure that you give it enough time to adjust to the tank parameters, and you want to make sure that you don't rush the acclimation process. Bubble tip anemones are very delicate and they're also usually very expensive and you want to make sure that you do this correctly. The drip method is definitely by far the most effective method for acclimating not only bubble tip anemones but also corals as well. And this is something that I usually do for all of my corals in my tank. So usually this bubble tip anemone has beautiful pink bubble tips on the end of it as you can see it at the local fish store. Don't worry if your bubble tip anemone loses its bubbles during the acclimation process. This is normal as it's been in the bag for about a half an hour and it hasn't been under the light. So this is expected to happen. Once you get it into the tank, it's going to adjust, it's going to move around and then it's going to open up beautifully. And that's why you want to do the drip method because it's the most effective and it's the safest way to acclimate your bubble tip anemone. As the acclimation process continues, you can see that the purple tips are actually coming back on the bubble tip anemone and some of its color is returning as well, which is pretty cool. You can continue this process for about 30 minutes to an hour. I usually do about a half an hour, it depends on the anemone though. In this case, I'm probably going to do around 45 minutes just to be safe. It's a beautiful anemone and I really want it to open up and look great in the tank. Alright, so it's been about 45 minutes and it's about time to put the anemone in. So what I did was I went ahead and turned off the light and I'm going to go ahead and undo the siphon here and then we're going to go ahead and put the anemone into the tank. Go ahead and give him a nice spot in the tank. He's definitely going to move around, but try to put him in a good spot, give him a good start here. Let's see. Get the foot to, to grab hold here on the rock. Should be a good spot for him. Sorry, the tank's a little bit of a mess. The sand goby's been going nuts, redecorating and moving things around. So, I'm trying out a new light for some of these corals, see how it's working. Right now I'm using the, uh, I think it's the Fluval Halo. So the anemones, foot's grabbing hold actually right there. Let's see, it's starting to open up a little bit, which is good. It's been temperature pH acclimated to the parameters for about 45 minutes using the drip method. So let's see how he does. We'll check back in a little bit. All right, so the anemone's gone ahead and gotten itself acclimated and it got itself settled in. Just a word of caution that anemones are attracted to areas of high flow in your tank and they will get themselves caught into power heads. If you have a power head that's not anemone safe, you might want to look into some alternatives or find a way to make it anemone safe because they will get caught and the results can be disastrous for the anemone and your tank. Now we're just going to be waiting and hoping that the clownfish host the anemone. Thanks for watching and I hope this was an interesting and informative video.